Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, we are going somewhere today. I need to go yarn shopping because I need to find a specific color yarn for a custom order that I am completing. Um, we're after a burnt orange color yarn and I wanted to try and avoid ordering something online that I had to get shipped because like shipping times at the moment are just ridiculous. So I'm gonna try and find something in store that I can just purchase. Um, I've had a little look online and it looks as though the store we're going to today, which is called Oz Yarn, does have the color that I'm after. So fingers crossed they've got the stock um, because I have been to Spotlight over the last few weeks a few times and their stock is dwindling. Like they have absolutely no yarn on the shelves. Um, and I don't even think that's because everyone's going crazy crafting at the moment. I think it's purely because they just can't get their stock here in time because obviously as we know, shipping times have increased due to COVID. Um, which is why I'm trying to avoid getting anything from an online store because I don't want to have to wait for shipping because God knows how long it could take. So today I am going to a store called Oz Yarn, which is a little yarn shop here in Melbourne. Um, so yeah, we are going to meet my mum there. She wanted to come along. so. We are meeting my mum there. It's kind of like in between both of us. So, whoa, she's just gonna meet us there. Um, but yeah, I thought you guys might like to come along. So if that is something you're interested in, just keep on watching. We have reached our destination.
we are done at Oz Yarn. It was a successful trip, which is always good. The yarn I wanted, they didn't actually have on the shelf, so I ended up asking the lady. Thank God I did because she went out the back and found it for me. So they obviously just hadn't had a chance to top up the shelves. Um, which was amazing so I got what I wanted and now I am going to head to Spotlight because I also need to get um, another type of yarn from Spotlight that is for another custom order so I don't usually do custom orders but because of ISO and everything I've had a bit of extra time on my hands so I thought you know what why not it's like it's basically just for friends and family so I thought, why not make a few things? But I, I have hardly, hardly had any time to work on these projects because I've been so busy with my YouTube videos. But um, yeah, I've had a bit of time this weekend, which is good because weekends are my days off from YouTube and I don't upload on weekends. So anyway, we are headed to Spotlight to try and find some USA Spot Saver yarn in the color pumpkin which is my absolute favorite okay we're here at spotlight um the car park is really busy so i'm gonna say it's gonna be super busy inside which is not a good sign but hopefully they're not here for yarn that's all I can say but we shall see what the stock levels are like I'm not getting my hopes up because the last few times I've been here they've had absolutely nothing so fingers crossed Okay, I just walked out of Spotlight. Can I tell you? So I've got two Spotlights near my place. So one is in Roxburgh Park and one is in Essendon. And that's like a huge store, like a DFO store. So it's amazing. And it's always really tidy, really clean. And it's my preferred store. It's the one that I usually always go to. But today, because I was closer to the Roxburgh Park store, I was like, I'll just go in there because otherwise it would have been out of my way to go to the Essendon store. So anyway, I went to the Roxburgh Park store and can I just tell you, it is an absolute shambles in there. Like, I don't know how they work in there. Like it was giving me anxiety just looking at the mess. Like in the fabric section, nothing is organized. Like, it's not like, you know, usually when you go to a spotlight, like, in Essendon everything's organized like all the cotton fabrics are all together all the canvases are together like all different types of materials are grouped together because it makes it easier for people to find what they're looking for right but here literally everything is just piled in a mess like it's actually I don't know how they work in that store it's actually ridiculous but anyway on a lighter note they had the yarn that I wanted, thank God. And I also picked up um, a little bit of fabric that I think I might use as a backdrop for filming 
videos. I've been just filming videos in my lounge room up until now, but I thought I would kind of make a DIY photo slash video backdrop. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'll see if I can get out my sewing machine and create something because I didn't want to have to buy a whole huge um, backdrop stand because we don't have a lot of space. We only have like a tiny two bedroom unit. So I don't have a, a, a space to set up a huge backdrop stand. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna try and maybe hang something on the wall and see how that goes. So stay tuned. Maybe I'll film a video on how I set that up or how I go about making my own backdrop. If that is something that you'd be interested to see, feel free to comment below. Um, as always, I love hearing what you guys want me to film. So I would love if you guys could comment below if you would like to see that video. But anyway, I am now currently on my way home. Once I get home, I will show you guys what I bought. Okay, so I'm home, but before I go inside, because John's home and I hate filming when he's home just because he's so noisy and I don't know, I just feel awkward filming in front of him. So anyway, I am going to show you what I got. So first of all, we went to Oz Yarn where I was looking for a specific colored yarn, which I found on their website and they didn't actually have it on the shelf, but when I asked the lady, she went out the back and found some for me, which was absolutely amazing. Their customer service at Ozean, I must say, is absolutely amazing. Like I've only ever had positive experiences with their customer service. Once um, one of the girls even delivered yarn to my door because it was at the other store and to save me paying for shipping or whatever, she's like, I'll just drop it off at your house. And I was like, what do you mean? Anyway. So I went and bought this pack of yarn. This is, sorry about the noise. Let me open it up and I will show you what it looks like. So this is what I wanted. It's an eight ply, 100% acrylic yarn. As you can see, the color is absolutely stunning. It's called paprika. It's like a burnt, ready orangey color which i absolutely love i got a custom order for something in this color so that's why i wanted this color in particular and it was the only place i could find something that was a really really close match to the photo that my customer had sent me so i'm going to give this a go i have not used it before but it feels like fairly decent quality um, and i have heard good things about it so we'll see how it goes that's the Needles 8 ply 100% acrylic yarn from Oz Yarn. Next up, we of course went past the ridiculously chaotic spotlight in Roxburgh Park. Um, again, I needed to get a specific yarn for a custom order, which is this um, Spot Saver USA style in the color Pumpkin. It's my absolute favorite yarn at the moment. I'm absolutely obsessed with this color and I love the quality of this yarn. If you are in Australia and you're looking for a good quality 10 ply slash Aran weight yarn, which is really hard to find in Australia, a lot of our yarns are just 8 ply. So it is really hard for us to find 10 ply or Aran weight or worsted weight yarn in Australia. But this is absolutely amazing. I love it so much. It's really nice and soft. It's nice to work with. It is 100% acrylic, but it's great quality. Um, I work with this all the time. Majority of my patterns were worked <laughs> with this yarn. So yeah, I can only ever say great things about this yarn. I absolutely love it. Last but not least, I mentioned before that I went and got some fabric from the, like, I can't even describe to you how messy the fabric section was at this store. But anyway, I managed to rummage through the piles and piles of fabric and I found this, which is like a pre-cut fabric. It's 
cost $15 for two meters, which is pretty cheap, like especially for a fabric like this, it's quite a thick um, woven fabric. So I'm hoping it will be perfect for video slash photography backdrops because number one, it is in my brand colors, which is perfect. And number two, because it is a woven thick fabric, I'm hoping it doesn't crease too easily. So I'll be able to hang it up and it will stay nice and flat. Um, and non crinkled but we'll see how we go as I mentioned before I may make a video on how I do my backdrop if that's something that you guys are interested in comment below let me know if you would like me to make a video like that um, but yeah that is the final thing that I purchased today just some fabric for a backdrop well thanks for coming along guys I really appreciate you watching if you've made it this far well done um, if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel turn on those notifications so you are notified of my future videos again as I've said many times throughout this video if you do have any content suggestions please leave me a comment down below I love hearing your thoughts um, but in the meantime I will see you in my next video thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day bye guys Thank you.